This is Waltham Forest on the east side of London. Here people have been celebrating its selection as the capital's first borough of culture. see how you could loathe others pigments and I noticed from instincts we could grow where we're living when we endorse the force that is multiculturalism. But alongside stories of inclusion and artistic celebration, the areas made other headlines. In the week the culture celebrations kicked off, another teenager was killed. Here, gang life and drug dealing prevail, and residents are held hostage to some of the most violent youth crime in the country. Of course, most young people are not involved, but even the innocent live in fear. You never know in East London if today's your last day or if it's not. I worry for them. I worry for my brother. I worry for him, because we live on an estate. Knife crime just got more and more worse. People are just dying left, right and centre. You know, I want to live my life freely. You know, you can't enjoy your life if you're constantly looking over your shoulder. <laughs> now, a team of youth coaches have come here to listen to the young people. That ain't me no more, do you know what I mean? I know who I am now. <laughs> Why are you walking around? <laughs> Working with dramatists and musicians, they'll give the group the chance of a lifetime creating a musical based on their lives to perform in front of a paying audience. And in the process, they aim to make lasting change. I'm going to put that behind me, for my family, all that happened to me, but be bad. And several homegrown celebrities have signed up to help. I saw the excitement in your face. It was like a party going on. Do it for the heart, do it for the fame. Do it for the heart, do it for the fame. Just hear me out, man. I just need you to hear me out right now. The moment someone puts a spotlight on you and says, be you, tell me your story, we stop being consumers and we become participants. The stage is for all of us. Who do you think I am? Sit down right now! Who knows, this could save somebody. This could save somebody's life. This is East Side Story. All singing, all dancing but fueled by raw emotion. Let's go, Raheem. Are you talking to you like that? You. Shut up, man. AJ and best friend Raheem are both 14. AJ's lived on his estate all his life, and for the boys, it's a place of safety. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I learned how to do my first backflip. Off of that little tiny wall, I put a mattress and I just started backflipping for no reason off of the wall. The boys are on home turf, but if they travel 10 minutes up the road, they're soon out of their safety zone. You just don't feel safe because of like the gangs and the stabbings are like, from where you're from, like, and you can be labelled as like part of that like, terrace or area, and then they can like gang warfare. Like, you have to always look back, like, every 10 minutes if you're walking in, like, night time. When you hit teenager, you're involved, basically, even if you're not. If you see the wrong postcode or area, then you're a victim. If the bus stop doesn't have a shower like this, yeah, and you have to stand up on the front line in front of the road, Spooky, scary. Like a car can come back, come past, look at you, do whatever they want to do. That's spooky. Welcome, 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 everybody to World Dance Two. When you come from Asia, you come to World Dance Two. America. Two and a quarter million pounds recently flooded into this forgotten end of London for its year as the borough of culture, and arts projects were given the kiss of life. 
The 2012 Olympics in nearby Stratford had already prompted gentrification and trendy coffee bars now jostle up next to sprawling estates. As part of a year of culture, this project will bring young people from across the borough to two of them, one in Walthamstow and another in Chingford. Historic rivalry has been put aside as phase one begins. How you see it is right for you, but not someone else. No, how you see the world. I, how, I see. <laughs> how I see the world is right for me, and how you see the world is right for you. Both groups will be working with performing arts specialist Raw Academy. But before any drama or music workshops begin, youth coaches from Catalyst and Communities are running sessions to help break down barriers. And one of their team first introduced us to the project through his sister, our director. It's a weird, difficult, challenging, uncomfortable experience for them. It's not normal to sit in a circle. You know, in many senses, if you can work out how you behave when you're uncomfortable, there's huge learning there for all kinds of circumstances that you'll, you'll take with you into the rest of your life. So, Hamim, can my story ever been the same as yours? Uh, have we got the same story? Can't be possible, can it? Does that mean we have to have a problem? Today, Hamim, or H, has joined the group with his friend David. The boys, who are both 14, have been excluded from school. How does that influence you going on? in this game that you play called life? It won't change anything. What if it did? Things will be different, innit? Because we've been kicked out of school and everything. When we do something wrong, we get, we get in trouble straight away. When, like, people from, like, normal school get in trouble, they'll give them a couple warnings, and, yeah, they're good. But with us, like, we don't really get that. Yeah. When I first met H, I felt like I met an old man. He was crumpled over, and, and then I've realised now that it's not just H. A lot of young people, they're hiding away. You know, I've just found myself getting so... so intrigued and curious about why young people are doing this, and it's... they just don't want to be seen. 15-year-old Leon has also joined the session. There's never just one side for, for everything, so I guess, like, it's not, it's not really good to be really judgmental about a person as well. Like, cos you can never read really a book by its cover. You just have to read or sign. Come through this door. Leon, like H and David, has been put forward by the local pupil referral unit, or PRU, for children who've been taken out of mainstream school. Leon was sent here after he damaged his teacher's car. I made a couple mistakes because I let my anger get to me. When I was young, I, I was always about trying to be like a gangster and all that. But now, now that I'm growing up, I'm getting more mature and seeing the reason. I'm seeing that this literally is pointless, and how all of this is just stressful. If you like keep annoying the teacher and all that, it's just gonna add more stress on top of your stress. So I don't see the point. Father God, bless this food that you're gonna eat. Leon's problems began at primary school. Christ our Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It was to do with my weight mainly, and I was slow, and I wasn't really smart like I am now. Have some salad. I used to be very, very angry when I was younger. I guess when they called me names, I just lashed out and then it got into a fight. Like others taking part in the project, Leon is being brought up in a home without a dad around. You are both parents, you are mother and a father at the same time, and you are raising boys. You've got to be firm. Okay. You move your small thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put in a glass. Part of that angle was a bit of remembrance of when my dad left me. Like, usually I don't really talk about it, but yeah. I think, it, yeah, it had something to do with my dad leaving me. No matter where he is, I still love him. So I'm still not losing hope if he does come back. Hopefully he still knows where we live. I'm Zizi, I'm 13. I live in Chinkford. Mm -hmm. And I'm leaving at the door. 
how pissed I was off today. Cause some girl, she was so fake and she'll give me dirt look down the corridor, but, but she, she won't say shit to my face. And it's pissing me off. <laughs> so, you're gonna react to this, so are you. Cause I punched the wall and you're gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't let someone else control your anger, da da da. But I did, so it's fine. Zizi came to the UK from Hungary six years ago. She struggled to control her anger in the past. So Mum Maria enrolled her in boxing lessons. This is that. If I have like a chef for day, just come, bang. Or I can just hold all my anger up and I can still be like real with people. But when I come to boxing, I can just get it all out. Ready? Go! I just really love it. Like, I don't want to ever stop. Maria has her own reasons for wanting her daughter to stand up for herself. I'm gypsy. My country don't like the gypsy. This country same, but this country, like, it's okay. It's okay. Az, hogy az, hogy megyek az utcán és idegenek mosolyognak, az 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 én országomba elképzelhetetlen. Like the f the fact that in this country she walks around and strangers just smile at her makes her day because in my country that never used to happen. Um, when people looked at her, it was dirty looks. It, it was never a smile. Like it was her dream for us free to have our own rooms, our, our own things, like our own rights, which, what she never had. Bye, Mum. Zizi has a amazing way of blending compassion and strength and grit and resilience. Sometimes she's on the offensive and sometimes she's on the defensive. She is Ready? a great fireball. Say it again. Yeah, how's that? On the Walthamstow estate, AJ and Rahim were among the first to sign up. With my friend Bob. <laughs> but there's not a chance. <laughs> That's one look. That's one look. <laughs> just sitting there. In this project, we all have to trust each other and we're not going to, like, proceed or go anywhere further if we don't trust each other. And if I hold back anything, I feel like I'm going to be holding back on this project. And I'm just going to let everything out and show my 100 and give my 100. Get rested. Born on the same day in the same hospital, their mums became firm friends and the boys' future was mapped out. We don't learn anything, we just remember stuff. To me, they are inseparable, no matter what. It's always AJ and Rahim. But tragedy struck when they were eight years old and Rahim's mum, Natasha, died from cancer. He still comes by and I still talk with him. I know Daniel listened to me. You know, and even if he cry, I'll cry with him because I said to him, it's okay to grieve. You've lost your mum at a young age, it's okay to grieve. <laughs> Despite his grief, or perhaps because of it, Rahim is a natural comic. He's confident in the group and today, he's mimicking the coaches. Okay, so. <laughs> Told me I'm not sick. <laughs> Yo, well, you know what she said? Oh, what? Cheap shit. Right, okay. All right, so, today. Cheap shit. Sometimes your first impression is key to someone. From my first impressions, I can see who you really are. What was my first impression of you? Well, I want it to be like an easygoing person, a person you can speak to, a funny person. Like, if you never need cheering up, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together since yeah. It's just right if I look after him. I just want to make sure that like, when I'm good, he's good as well. But like, if I had fifty pound and Raheem's with me, I'll split twenty five each. But yeah, I just have to. I don't know where. Raheem is Maxine's godson and a welcome addition to her brood of five. I'm proud to be a single mom. <laughs> I'm proud to be a single mom. Not that I don't, or I wouldn't want to have the father around, but having to look after my children all this time, working three jobs to take care of them, is the way how you bring them up, the way you talk to them, the love you give them. When you see that somebody's there who's got your back, then that's a big difference. 
less confident than the boys is 19-year-old Tiana. I hate being uncomfortable speaking about myself or things that I'm thinking, but there's a part of me that still wants to do it. I feel like I've come pretty far from just coming to these sessions a couple of weeks. Tiana has recently moved back to the area. Her family went away for a while after her brother got in trouble with local gangs. It got really bad. I'm trying to like stab him or like all this kind of things. It was, it was a disaster. Tiana's mother was a teenager when she had her children and brought up both of them without much help from either of their fathers. If I had a choice to like grow up with my dad, I wouldn't pick it because I don't know him. And, but my mom, yeah. So yes, it's been a lot. Like so many other places, here, single mothers, poverty and lack of opportunity are blamed for the rise in youth violence. The whole point of the East Side Story is to get beyond the headlines, to get beyond what we perceive young people to be like. How can we rewrite this story? How can we make it a different place? Mark Bagnall is directing the musical. So how do we change it? How would I rewrite my story so that I'm no longer affected by this. If it's about peer pressure, what peer pressure? What is the peer pressure? To do what? To go where? And how do we rewrite that? No, let's just say he grew up in like them posh ends. Yeah, right? that's what you then said. He the gets, nice house. Then they move him, they move him to like ends like in here. Like oh yeah, he got moved from school. That's when everything changed. You have to have respect. Otherwise people will just treat you like Shit. Whatever, like, whatever, like, piece so of shit. Some... If you're like, um, I'm not involved, da, 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 they're gonna rob you. It's just how, just it, how is. it is in these ends, man. No, it's in these ends, If you're not respected, get me. So I had. Musical director Delroy Murray is helping the cast to write original songs. People want to assume that the youth, all they do is go around and do these negative things when they've got lots of, lots of feelings going on inside of what, what affects them. And so, and it's coming out in their songwriting. Get through. Yeah, even if you go, get through, that's fine. Get through. One, two, three, and. I had a moment with Tiana on Saturday because she posted something. She did this video blog that was so heart-wrenching. The police all asking me, like, oh, so what, what are you doing around here? What, what, what's your purpose for being here? And I was like, I'm just, I'm trying to get home. And then he was like, oh, I know it's inconvenient for you, but I think you're going to have to take a detour if someone's been shot. And then it made me think about my brother. And when he came, back down here to our house and then <laughs> and they tried to stab him. And um, I sent her a message saying exactly the things you said in that blog is your song. Go down. Something that just can't get through. I hope they're all right. Somewhere we're close, we're close, we're close. Today, the cast has a special visitor actor Harris Dickinson. Some debts are wrong. I made some mistakes. What sorts of mistakes? The star of Trust is a local boy who's made it to Hollywood. Me. Hey. It's a fairy tale, and he's here to meet the group. Hey. Do you lot know Ray Fiennes? Yeah. He's Voldemort in Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Nice. But I'm doing I'm doing a film with him at the moment, and I, yeah, it's weird. Like <laughs> yesterday, I was. I was suspended in the air with him on a, on a fake aeroplane. 
and I had to like hug him and I'm just like sitting in my head thinking like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, how have, how have I got here? Like... Harris has come to share his story and encourage the teenagers to aim high whatever their background. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I was kind of a bit confused. I almost joined the army because in my head, I didn't realise I could go into it as a job, as an actor or a filmmaker. I was making short films. Anyway, carried on acting, went to college, studied film, theatre, English, didn't finish it. I wanted to leave. I was, I was, I was annoyed at the system. I was, I was upset with the teachers. You know, I meet people now in my, um, on set and that, and they've, they've been to drama school or they've, they've been to university and they've had a very specific, like, path in their life. I'm only 22 and I, I do feel, I feel lucky, but I also know that if I hadn't had taken the necessary steps at the time I did, I probably wouldn't be where I was. Harris's openness is prompting others to share their stories. I'm the fame for our 15. God. Speak from your heart, you're good at it. Come on, let's no, up. My heart is like all right now. Mm -hmm. um, LaFace was 12 when her mother had a brain tumour removed and the operation left her with long-term side effects. Corrine now needs her daughter to be her carer and LaFace has to juggle that responsibility with her GCSE exams. I've been brought up to whatever life is, like, you deal with it by yourself. Like, you don't feel sorry for yourself. Like, you literally deal with it by yourself and that is your issue and you deal with it and kind of roll with it. It's part of you, you know? Wait, wait, wait. Karina's is having a good day, but there are often times when the mother of five is confined to her bed. That much. Mm-hmm. I've shared my mum's story because it's part of my story and it's part of who it's making me become. Yesterday, um, something really bad happened, but Oh, I couldn't even cry, but... It's all right. Today, like, yesterday I did that. Here is the thing that I'm most sure about. And, like, the people in this room is, like, the most I'm sure about because what happened yesterday was, like, fuck, I felt so alone with everything. But, like, when I walked in here and, like, the greetings I've got, I have never got that. Fuck! I realised it's not so easy. Mm. Like, life happens, shit happens. We have those days. Yeah, and I've learnt that. Hair is a safe place. Yeah. Deep down, hair is definitely a safe place. Amen. And I feel most comfortable here. Now that the group have had a month of coaching, they're off for a weekend residential in Buckinghamshire to start creating their musical. Arheem, pull up your pants, fam. Get out of my face. Oh, I'm not oh lucky, lucky, you're lucky, I'm gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of excited to, like, do all the activities, get to know new people, but a lot of me is like, e, I don't, I don't want to do this. I'm actually very excited because the people that I'm with, like, giving me hope that this could be a very big project. So far, my experience with like this side has been good. Like, I know new things. Just don't hope anyone's a bit too weird. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. People tell us that this is not possible. You can't bring people from Leighton and people from Chingford and people from Walthamstow together and do a project. You can't do that. It doesn't make sense. Who or what makes you most afraid? It's horrible to do a session in a school and then three weeks later turn on the TV and you go, what? She's dead. It's, it's, it can't go on. A night of walking in silence gives the participants time and space to think about their lives. For young people, this is a very bizarre experience. 
And we introduce silence as a gift, something that you can use. Something that's missing from their lives. I always make sure that if I speak on the phone to my mum, I have to say I love you before I finish the call. Because you never know, like in East London, if today's your last day or if it's not. It's just like, there's always that, that little feeling inside that like you'll be happy, but then there's that feeling in the back of your head saying, I don't think you should be out, I think you should go home. Like, it's just scary. Yeah. yeah. You're probably leaning on me. I can't get back up. For me, like, when I hear what's going on with boys, I've got male friends, um, more than girls, actually. And when I hear things like this, I worry for them. I worry for my brother. I have an older brother. I worry for him because we live on an estate. Um, it's just we worry us girls. I worry a lot. Fingers below. I've never had a problem with anyone. I've never had beef with anyone. Thankfully, I walk outside my house. I can walk out two in the morning and not have the fear of being stabbed. For 19-year-old Roberto, staying safe has meant sacrificing an old friendship. I knew he was a drug dealer, but, you know, like, we grew up together. We were good friends. And I just wanted to be his friend. I didn't really care about his life. And that's the thing with friends like this. Yeah, he was my closest friend at the time, but he's, he's shit. If you don't mind me swearing, his shit becomes my shit. And I didn't want that for myself. My friend's mum come up to me and says, can you please talk him out of it? And I've always tried to get him out of it. But he said, they're just stuck in, when, once they're stuck in their ways, like I'm stuck in my ways not involved, they're stuck in ways to get involved. And once, the, once I realised that there was nothing I could have done, that's, that, that, that was the moment that I just had to just not be a part or not really talk to anyone involved in that kind of lifestyle anymore. Tell me right now. This is it like yes that. or no? We Tell me. No. Excuse me. Wait, you know, you just pre When I'm talking, when I'm talking. So what? So what? Mom, if I don't go to this party, it's going to actually ruin my reputation. I need to go. Get out now. Hurry up. A lot of the young participants on this project haven't done real any acting before. I feel privileged because I'm in a room with some talent. I think they were a little bit daunted by that at first. It's been really lovely to see them have that realisation, that they have those skills within them. Wait, so you're, you're going to really admit that you did a slap in my head? You slapped me. How many times do I have to tell you before you understand? Freeze. Give me a round of applause. Very nice. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? Uh, what are you saying? Okay. You can't yeah. What do you want? Are you um, normal, normal. OK, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. How's your day been, bro? My day's been fine. How's your day, sir? Calm, calm, still. Okay, still. cool. It's four pounds, please. Huh? I said it was four pounds. Do you mean four pounds? I, I just. That was a funny joke. No, 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 it's no joke. <laughs> huh? I'm serious. It's four pounds. Four pounds? Yes. Okay, it's four bye. Pound. No, no, no. Where are you going? What do you mean? It's four pounds. I'm going. It, no, it's four pounds. What do you mean? I said it's four pounds. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not paying that. What do you mean? No, well, no, you're, no, not, you're not forcing four me. No, it's four pounds. No, no. Pound. no I get three pounds. No, it's four pounds. Get that extra pound. For David, you could see that playing a character was a real release. It was a process of seeing him kind of shed his own skin a little bit. Lovely work. Really good. Uh, when Leon told David it was four pound, David's face was like, that's the very first time he'd ever heard that. Absolutely brilliant. Sammy's got a saying that you will hear us say yeah, a lot. What is it, Sammy? So acting is reacting. And you were totally listening to each other. That's why the scene worked, because you were working off each other and you were reacting off each other. So well done. That's oh, excellent. Hey. Oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Every, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. After a vocal warm-up, Tiana's feeling brave enough to sing her song. I was just like, what am I doing? I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, my heart was beating so fast because I'm performing. This was the first time I sang in front of everyone. I 
I try not to look at like people, especially like in the faces or the eyes, because I don't want to see their reaction to it. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm like, what's happening here? And then I finished the song, and then like everyone just jumped up and like just ran towards me. And like started hugging me and saying, "Oh my God, Yana, well done!" Like, "Oh wow, you can sing really well." I was like, "What?" They were, I was so confused. I was just like, "You guys, what are you talking about?" No, I just, I was just singing. I wasn't doing anything. That was, that was amazing. It was a beautiful moment, and you could see that it, it did something for her. That moment changed her. Young people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We can't rush this process. And so this period of building rapport and credibility and trust is a very important part of it and it must come first. Oh, wait. That's about to be a whole waterfall, in it? So let me just apologise now. It's the last day of an emotional weekend, and the group have a chance to reflect. This residential has probably <laughs> thrown it to my feet. Um, has made me realise that I belong here and that we actually belong here. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. It's okay. And that like, yesterday, that like, the way we all just worked together in them sessions, it was mad that like, the way we all just got our shit together every single one of you lot because you know I built my confidence and that's the reason why I'm failing is because of my confidence I don't believe in myself but that ain't me no more and I told you lot that that ain't me no more you know what I mean I know who I am now yeah I know who I am now. normally I'm that I'm that guy that people that look up to whatever I am Consider as a popular kid or whatever, I have to like create another person. I used to like think getting designer clothes would make me fit in. Like sometimes I would fake stuff, I would buy fake stuff just to be able to step out and try have confidence. See, yeah, I'm that guy. But like, I realize I don't have to be that guy. I just have to be who I am. Mm -hmm. um, no, until I accept who I am, I won't be able to like do anything in life. And I want to say thank you to Raheem. Yeah. Now more closely bonded, the cast are back in London. So I don't know how many of you know, have seen this instrument. I'm sure most, most have. The instrument's called tabla. Hoping to inspire them to continue their songwriting is Mercury Music Prize winner Talvin Singh, who grew up in the area. Is there a little piece of the language that you can teach us? Yeah, yeah. How about, we yeah, fancy that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you say da? Da. Uh, kata. Kata. That's it, yeah. Da kataka. Da kataka. Ah, oh, you've got the accent. <laughs> Ooh. 
Should we just try to make make a make a tune? Yeah. You know, so yeah. So so if we get a, a kind of drum machine beat rolling now. This is the sound of the sparrow. This is what makes us unique. <laughs> Trying to touch hearts, make it vibrate like a kick drum. Don't sleep on a mission for my music to just live. Local rapper Lemzy is here to lend some lyrical support. Now I'm gonna start picking out some people who wanna come up here and just give us all a sequel. I'm looking at someone like AJ, don't play mate. Come up over here and just show us what you can spray, eh? <laughs> Everybody thinks that it's mad, we live the... And I got people on my side like Tavid Never knew, thought that this was gonna happen, but... My future memories yet to come I'm gonna be the one to reach out and grab them I'm gonna stop for no one I'm gonna stop for any of the man them Seeing them all come together and just be happy to work with each other. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of acrimony between anyone. Getting money, getting more of me. Where did I learn that? They'll bring two of me. It doesn't feel like there's anyone who doesn't feel willing to express themselves as well. So the fact that they're able to share their stories, share their ideas, to me it's sick. It sounds good. They're on a journey. They've been given a chance to be on this ship, which they don't know quite where it's going to sail, but they're on it. Can we talk about them in a couple of minutes? With the music underway, the cast now start thinking about the play's themes, based on the prejudice and beliefs that have shaped their lives. You're smart for a black kid. I mean, that one, I know, I, lo I know. Wow. Oh, you're the only black kid in the top sets, or you're the only one in the fast track mass, or the only one doing A-levels when you should be doing GCSEs, or, and it was always implied that it's because, you know, we're only saying this because you're black. And a lot of things about, about postcodes. Help me with this postcode thing. Why, why is it so relevant? Why is it so important? You're walking in your area, and you feel pressured when you see them looking at you or whatever. It want to be like them and not have to be scared when they're walking down the road. So they join the gang for respect, and then later on, they find out that they can make money. David, if you're not, if you're somebody who doesn't want to get involved in that and wants to take a step out, how possible is that? How, how... It's easy. How, it's, it's not easy. easy. It's, not it's not easy. easy. Oh, right, if you're in a gang, you can't just leave like that. Like, sometimes you have to owe people money, do this for someone, like... They'll just stalk you, you they'll just no escape. Uh, police could save your life. Me. Don't judge them because, because of a few of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them that are do and they're racist, but most of them are nice and they're trying to help you. I, I, I know, I know. For for myself, I know there's good police officers out there that are not racist, but black people have come from a struggle, a struggle that white people haven't come from. Hence why we're so, we're more so against the police than white people are. 
People need to change their views that not every black person is the same. Not every black person carries a gun. Not everyone carries a knife. Like people, people have chosen the life they live and, you, and it shouldn't affect all, all of, all, every black person. Because us black people, yeah, we don't really, like, they don't really give us a chance like that. Like if we do something wrong, yeah, straight away, they want to tell us off or something, yeah. Just getting stopped and searched. Just to do some, like, on you. Just everyone my age. Black people. And young black people. I feel worried, like, what's going to come in the future? Are they going to still think like this? Are they going to say, oh, can't, you can't give him this job with the children, he might do something to them? Or, oh, we can't. Can't have him around this environment because he can cause harm. Just hurts, makes you annoyed. We'll give you a couple of minutes to go and have a look at those post it notes. The cast have written down phrases that hold a deep meaning for them. I'm going to ask you to select one. Which ones do you agree with? Which ones do you disagree with? Which one gets the fire running in your belly? Be brave. Be decisive. Some of the themes that really resonated in those early weeks were that of racism, respect, family, trust, rivalry. And then it's about pulling the improvisations out of that. They really fucked up my trust. I always feel like I'm going to disappear to somewhere else. I do what a teenager does. Who am I? That's the question I ask myself a lot. I like being me. I don't know what to say. I don't know who I am. Good, good, good. Okay. Bang it through. Bless you. Come here. Ibrahim, you're going as well? Yeah. Come and kiss. They don't drink it. Oh, you don't want to kiss me today? See you. Have a good day. AJ and Rahim are going to the first songwriting workshop since the residential. But the 10-minute walk to rehearsals is eventful for the boys. There's a police car stop parked up there. They called us over. They were like, we're a bit puzzled, because like, we don't know what's happening. We didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I've got used to it, though, to be honest. It's always the wrong people that they get. That's the yeah. thing, though, like... Right? They're saying it's making people safe, but why are they only searching that one race? <laughs> All right, so... I'm going to put the rhythm track on again. But think lyrically. You don't need to think melody-wise yet. But if you have got something, that's fine. Don't be restricted by anything. Just go with what, what, what's coming out. All right, let's go. Delroy has the cast writing songs based on the theme of trust. If you need any help, just ask me anytime. And I will be there for you. Yes, I will be there for you. Oh, that's good. I will be there for you. Hey, I don't really need you to tell me what to do. OK. So you're saying? You know that I, I trust you. You know that you trust me too. Take it, yeah, take it up to a different level now, right? So that's good, that's good. I like that, I like that. Right, everybody, let's start. One second. Right, everybody is on, which is nice. Everybody's talking about trust in a relationship. What about trust in things outside of that, making it wider? Trust in police, trust in school. Can we think about something, some other things too? Don't lie to, so the lie to me could be your experience with the police today. I know you do. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to push that in. I think you're clever enough to do that. All right. So see what you can pull out. Are you trying with me? Yeah. 
Nah, don't lie to me. Not for me. When they say they stop crying for me, hey, I just wanna live life in peace. So don't lie to me. So don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Man was shot by the police. Man was panicking. Stood like a mannequin. Pain. I was battling. Took all that pain. Now I threw it like a javelin. Now I got the police. Just man's hair balancing. Now I like this. I like this. Okay. Right. Welcome. <laughs> This is good, man. This is bloody good. I'm so happy, honestly. All right. Okay. So let's see if we can extend it a bit. It's too good to leave it there. Now try and move it into a positive of what you're doing for yourself. Family. Oh, that's happened to me. Hurt me badly. Now yeah. man's happy with my family. Yeah. Right behind me. I don't care what you got to say about me. People always doubting me. Man runs like you saying, boy, you can't catch me. I don't know. I know that you cheated on our mum. Now that the themes have emerged, the cast begin to improvise scenes using their own words. They've discussed with the coaches what each character's input will be. Don't tell me to calm down. Still a... I'll raise the bar. What do you think you're a big boy now? Don't touch me. I don't, don't touch me, don't. What, what are we gonna do? And what's wrong with you? You think you can just go around and put your dick in any other girl? You think it's funny? That's my mum! You know what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Or you think you're bad because you've been living up in Jamaica for the past 14 years? Or you think you got money? Why don't you tell them the reason why you came home? Because you're broke and you ain't got nothing. Look at you, with your fake designer t shirt, man. Shut up. Get out of my face. You don't listen. Every time I tell you to do something, you always have to snap back. If I tell you to reach for the fucking ketchup, get it your fucking self. If I tell you to do the dishes, do the fucking dishes yourself. If I tell you to fucking leave, fucking leave! There's food on the table! Leave it! You don't love me, yeah? You don't love me? No. You don't love your own brother enough to give me a tenner? No. All right. I need that tenor. You do not right now, I don't give tenor. a fuck about love or not. I was asking you because you're my little sister and you're the person I trust the most in this world. And of everyone in this house, you're the only person I've asked. Clearly, it's fucking not good enough. Hi. Why are you walking around? Why are you walking around? I'm sorry. <laughs> performance and it was one of those performances where everyone watching you could hear a pin drop and the the applause he got at the end from the rest of the group it meant something I liked acting in it but I didn't really take it like a serious thing the compliments I just like it and it's just making me proud and confident The young people are now encouraged to begin inhabiting their characters. My character's name is H, yeah? And right now, I'm pissed off, innit? Mm -hmm. Cos some guy, here yeah, got my sister pregnant. Obviously, I want to kill him, innit? So, yeah. And what I'm bringing in is my frustration with someone who lost my trust. Roberta. Earlier today, I was told by the girl that I'm with that she's 
pregnant. I don't really know what to say. I mean, like, what, what do you say in a situation like that? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be happy that I'm gonna have a kid? I'm young, man. I'm not happy. I didn't want that. It's a fucking mistake. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Keep the beat, concentrate. One of the cast whose potential is now beginning to emerge is H. Where have you been? You've been missing for two weeks. Where have you been? Whoa. You just ran away like that. Easy. Yeah. What do you mean, easy? Look. We've been looking for you. I'm going to work. I've got five minutes left. Well, where have you been providing yourself? Where have you been staying? You haven't, you haven't contacted us once. I've been worried sick about you. I don't have a phone. I'm not sure anybody on the stage listens as a character as well as him. He's somebody who, uh, as an actor, has lots going on behind the eyes. And so trying to encourage him to, to listen, again, you know, like the character he plays on stage, to bring that into his real life. Listen to the people around you, listen to the advice you get. When you was younger and that, like, your mum and dad were always there, wherever you went, your mum and dad was there, holding your hand or something, but like, when you're a teenager, you have to do things your own way, innit? Your mum and dad are not always going to be there for you to help you out or help you get out of situations like that. It's yourself. You have to be smart and focus on something. And yeah. I think he found those early stages quite difficult. He sat there, hood up, disengaged for a lot of periods. But once the arts element came into this um, project, he became a new person. You, you are. Today, EastEnders star Tamika Empson is here to give the actors notes. Well, you know my sister, innit? You got her pregnant, right? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean she's pregnant, bro? Yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant? Yeah. Why didn't she tell me? What do you mean? You should know. Oh, fuck. Why didn't she tell me, bro? Hey, man. What I would say to everybody, when you're TV, we can zoom in and see your expressions, mm -hmm. yeah? But in theatre, you have to give it. Mm -hmm. It's a shock. You know, you're living your life, you're enjoying life, you're partying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, you've got, you got a child on the way, you're going to swear. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Your whole life has changed. It's so real, real. I really like the, the reaction. And don't be afraid of the silence. Because in the silence, you hear it gives the audience that time to breathe and be with you. It's scary, man. But, you know, I told her I just need a little bit of space because it's fucking big for me as well. She's fucking pregnant, man. So you got her, yeah? Of course I'm going to be there for her. Fam. My mum was 19 when she got married and she really did plan for a child for a really long time. So when I was born, she was ready to be a mother. And with my mum, I was just fortunate that she wanted me and she was just an amazing mother. I don't like to talk bad about my dad because my dad is a good man. But when I was little, I just used to, I used to hold him to account to things, you know, why aren't you not here for me? Why didn't you come? And when you hear the same excuses, you start to realise maybe it's not me. In the play, the fear of teenage fatherhood prompts an explosion of anger from Roberto, directed at Leon's character. Hey, fuck do you mean I'm a job? Fucking dickhead! What? 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 Why are you not popping up now? Fucking pussy or what? Fucking sit down and what? Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? What? Sit down. Sit down. After his parents split up, Roberto witnessed more than one of his mother's relationships going badly wrong. I saw a lot when I was younger, and... Breathe, brother. <clears throat> Breathe. 
Things that you see in your life have a big impact when you're older. Because even if um, when you're younger you think it doesn't matter, subconsciously it's still in your brain, even if you've buried it to the back of your head. And that's something I've learned. I think a lot of young people they don't get the opportunity to say what they want. And in a circle like this, you can experiment. You can see if you were to choose a different way of reacting, what could possibly happen, which you don't always get on the outside. You know, being a victim or not being a victim. And, you know, these are real life issues, real life stories. The fact that they've got this nice, safe place to experience that. It's great. There are just days to go, and a big decision has been taken. The musical will take place on a station platform, and the set construction is underway. The, um, the idea for a train platform ticked many boxes. I didn't want to create multiple locations for these. I wanted all these stories to take place in one place. I wanted to give a grounding. If you want to have a quick look. Try and don't cry, don't so just let everybody have a look. I wanted to create a more intimate setting where the, you, you'd be invited in as an audience member. So, yeah, it will be a bench um, without, a, without a back. It won't, there won't be a train, I'm afraid, baby. <laughs> Now the cast understand that their stage is a platform, they need to build their confidence and own that space. We've invited writer, actor and theatre director Kwame Kwe Amar to guide them. Yeah, I'm at the train station right now. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> huh? What? <laughs> Hello? What? Hello? Hello? No. You've been serious? Yeah. For real? Yeah. What? Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, he's made a little <laughs> Kwame has come to watch and to listen, but he's also here to share his story. I grew up in a, in a, in a working class area, as we said, in an area of London called Southall. And when I describe the London that I grew up in, it feels like it's like light years away was hardcore racist. The moment that you stepped out of your area, in any direction, you expected to be jumped by skinheads and stabbed. All of my cousins, all of us, all of us were stabbed, were cut, were chased. It was hard, hard days. The beautiful thing was I had an oasis of love and trust in my house. Once I opened that door, it was like the sunshine of the Caribbean and West Africa just bouncing out in every room. There was only one thing, I would say, one thing that, that held me. And it was that, as a child, I knew that I wanted to perform. I knew that I wanted to express myself through art. Belief belief that you can achieve something, that you are placed here to do something special, not just to be fodder. The belief that if I've been given a gift, like I look around this room and I just saw you guys perform and I can see so many of you who are gifted. The only thing that holds us sometimes when the world is pushing us down a tube that's not good for us is our own belief that we have something greater to live for. <laughs> no one really knows about what's going on with everyone's life here, but I feel like some of the words they could help people. Yes. So yeah, I just want to say thank you. Oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. th th thank you for that. It's like, sad to know that you have to be scared to leave your house. And like, that's what some people feel nowadays. Like, they're scared to leave their own house because they don't know what's going to happen, if they're going to come home or not. So, just... Can I say, my brother, this time will pass. 
so we don't. Thank you, everyone. Big man. Peace. Peace, yeah? Great performance. Thank you, sir. It's the final stage of rehearsals, and Lemsey's back to check on the cast. People round here don't feel secured, living their lives behind locked doors. How do we build a better nation? What are we going to do about the situation? Trust is fundamental. We shouldn't give it out for rental. One day, I was lurking in my friends. We saw the feds in our ends. We waved. Hi. What they did next, you never guess. What? They waved back with one finger. Nah. True story, true story, true story. And the law wants us to trust. It's the big day. Three and a half months after they first got together, the cast have arrived to perform the musical they've written about their lives. There's a lot of people this time. Tense yeah. people are nervous. Just, just remember how far you guys come. No mistakes. Just remember the up and down, the our little journeys, our residential trip, everything. Mm. Make sure you smash it today, boys. Mm. 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 This opportunity has been good for taking us on this journey. From the start. Five minutes, cool, guys. Five minutes. Thank you, Amen. 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 me you should know this because I'm young because I'm black even if I don't steal I steal and even if I don't kill I kill I'm a criminal you're a criminal that's just how it is in our society don't touch me why are you pushing me you're stressing me out back away You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, man. What are you? Checking in, checking out. Yeah, yeah. Checking in, checking out. Why do I hear no love and only hate? Only hate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Motionless buzzing, creative nothing, functional bluffings. Meaningless coughing, sense the stabbings and aggressive cussing. Seems like we're losing our minds. Is this the sign of the times? Things are going on, yet we are losing our minds. Do you think I am the only one fussing? Mum was stopped by the police, mum was panicking. I stood like a mannequin, pain I was battling. Took all that pain and I threw it like a javelin. Now I've got the peace man's out here balancing. I'ma put that behind me. For my family, all that happened to me, it hurt me badly, but now I'm happy with my family. Never give it up. Hey, I'm representing young stars. 
I ain't on the street acting like a trap star. I know I'm black, so I have to try harder. I elevate myself to get smarter. Setting and reaching my goals, I want to be a master. But I know I'm going to get there. I know I'm going to get there. Mummy had to do it all. 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 Trust is fundamental. I need a job now. I need to, I need to be able to support your sister. So I got myself a part-time job working security guard. And I know it's shit, but I'm just trying to make a bit of money just to, just to be able to support her. So what, are you sure you're going to be there for my sister? Of course I'm going to be there. You think I'm going to let the next man raise my kid? Another man? No way. It's taken a lot to come here and to know my wrongs. I put you through hell. I wish I could go back and change it, but I can't. You're my little brother. I just want you to give me another chance. You only live once, just blot the negativity. Trust yourself. The people you've been hating on, they're just the same as you, same as me, same as us. Change the me to we, change the fear to positivity. You know it's true, you know it's what you want to be. Stop pretending to be someone else, be the you, the only you you want to be. Change the me to we, change the me to we, change the me to we, be the you, the only you you want to be. Don't take the wrong street For you don't know what you'll find Don't take the wrong road Just be careful and read all the signs Why should another one die? Why? Would you take a life? What gives you the right? Why, oh, why? Why should another one die? Why should another one die? Why should another one die? Why, oh, why? This performance may be over for the cast, but they will continue working with the youth coaches until the end of 2020. And next year, Waltham Forest will hand over the baton for London Borough of Culture to Brent. <laughs>